Not even news of the more than $1.8 trillion set to be unleashed into the slumping economy was able to lift Wall Street's mood Tuesday. Frustrated investors unloaded stocks following the latest bank bailout plan announced by Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner and the Senate's passage of President Obama's $838 billion stimulus plan. Traders and investors said it was the lack of specifics in Geithner's plan that ignited worries. They needed to deliver a knockout punch, something that was either A, consistent with what the Bush administration had already begun, or something completely new and different and they did neither of those things. And the lack of details from Geithner helped to feed the sell-off. Analysts don't see much of a recovery until concrete actions are taken on the stimulus plan. I think it's going to take some time. First off, we probably won't get a package that is agreed upon by both houses of Congress until uh, the next week or so. We're not going to get it signed uh, by the president, so you could almost say that, that February is pretty much gone. The Dow Industrials fell 382 points to 7,889. Broader stock indicators also tumbled. The Standard & Poor's 500 index fell 43 to 827, and the Nasdaq dropped 67 points to 1,525. Stocks extended their slide after Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke said little on the plan during testimony at a House Financial Services Committee hearing. Instead, Bernanke said credit markets are showing promise and that any fix to the crisis would take time to work. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.